Good morning, Jim from the Savory Life and the Brixen Family Farm. Today I have with me our daughter Tiana. Oh, she's short, she's way down there. She's here helping today, visiting from her home. She's moving to a new home in Eastern, Illinois, or Eastern Minnesota tomorrow. So we get to take her, she's home for a little visit. Just show you a couple of things that we've been doing uh, and kind of give you an idea where we're going. So uh, you notice the house hasn't really been touched on the outside. We have contractors coming uh, the day after Labor Day. So this whole picture here should change drastically. We have a month to finish it up, but I have been busy making a couple uh, couple uh, modifications to this uh, Skuskovich plan. And uh, I'm gonna go inside here. I think that, uh, I think this is gonna, gonna create us a better, I don't know, not so much to work around. So that's kind of what we've been doing. Uh, I got a couple of them working on. But uh, what we're really gonna do today is we're gonna look at the barn. We're gonna look at the barn together and uh, it is uh, the end of August, beginning of September, so we need to start working on getting this barn wintered in because uh, we have animals that will need to go in there. Uh, because of the broken neck, we're not going to have any pigs or sheep, but we will have birds, and we need to take care of them. Our, our birds have been crazy, haven't they? Our, we have a couple of guineas that are out right now intentionally. We kicked them out yesterday, and I see one flew back in. Uh, we have five guineas, but they've been beating the crap out of one of our roosters, and... Uh, I don't know, it's a rooster, but it's one of our roosters. And so uh, we don't have time for crabby animals on our farm. And so we kicked them out of the pen, hoping that they would survive outside. So hold on for a second, T. I'm going to show how most people have seen the barn. We, we've changed these doors already. Uh, both the doors, and they're expensive. And today's lumber is just not as good as what it used to be. They're the old doors. We have six sets of doors like this. And we're going to be changing them, uh, rebuilding them. I, my thought right now is to either go with a metal door. We're going to do reside the barn, but either go with a metal door here uh, or go with um, like Trex lumber or something. Trex lumber would be very expensive. That door alone was 300 bucks. So we have three doors like that. The, the track seems to be good, but the roller bearings are not. So we replaced the roller bearings on this door here, and those doors slide perfectly. So uh, this farm, or this, this garage, barn, has been full of manure for probably 20 years. And it is quite the mess. Uh, we've been trying to save some lumber the best we can. So uh, my son-in-law's John Deere B, we just had that restored. Uh, it runs really nice. So uh, we're trying to save all the lumber we can. I have a, uh, a skidster coming this weekend, coming up, and we're going to clean the rest of the manure out. Uh, and go out the back with it, try to save as much of this lumber as we can. All the, the gates that are metal in here, because it was underneath so much manure, are no good. Uh, for the most part, the roof is good. Uh, there's a few little holes in it, but nothing that is too drastic that we can't deal with. And uh, we had a new electric service put in here. So uh, we're gonna rewire everything. Uh, the, right now we have our rabbits and uh, Oh, looks like Sam's doing okay over there. Our rabbits and uh, our chicks in here, our brooder in here. Um, but that that this side here is going to be uh, pens for uh, farrowing pigs. And uh, we'll have that entrance to go outside so that they can, um, so that they can be outside and inside. Uh, back here, I don't know, really know what we're going to do other than we're going to dig it out and clean it up. This part from this pole here over to that pole is going to be a uh, bird cage, like an aviary, aviary. Uh, we're going to have our rabbits inside there. And um, in the winter time, we'll bring our, our birds back in here and let them help build this deep bedding process that we're going to work on in this barn all together. Uh, again, the back doors, now this is south facing, so I guess it isn't so bad. Uh, and we're not trying to insulate the barn. Uh, but we don't get a lot of wind out of the uh, out of the south in the winter time, so not terribly bad. Uh, but we would like to kind of close it in uh, for some predator control. I think is probably part of the best way to explain that. Uh, and uh, when we walk out there, I'll show you the back of the barn. 
we're out doing chores too so uh, we recycled our drywall scraps out in the back here put a little lime in the ground so this is all going to get dig up dug up anyhow hopefully next year uh Look at all the grasshoppers. The birds are going nuts out here. Hopefully next year we'll have this pasture up and running. Um, we're going to be working on fence probably in the spring. But here's the back of the barn. Uh, we'll put a, fan, or a fan up there, an exhaust fan that I have actually, and uh, we'll put these doors up. I'm not one of the one of the things that we're thinking about right now is not putting in. Or, should rephrase that one of the things that i'm thinking about is enclosing up here where this john deere is and not put a uh a big door in there like that but make it more of like feed storage with a roll-up door and kind of temperature control so the first 12 feet or so of this, of this entrance way so uh i don't know what are you thinking i uh like and share this I, the um Trying to figure out exactly how we're going to be doing our YouTube channel, if we're going to continue doing it or if we're going to uh, stop doing it or how, however we're going to do it. But like, share, put a comment down in the below uh, about what you think, what you'd like to see. These are our uh, copper morans, and they are uh, about ready to go into that chicken tractor out there. This is their buck. No name. No name buck, but this is Sam. And Sam looks so much better than he did yesterday, doesn't he, T? He's drinking water and he's eating feed. Looks like he's a little nervous. We're gonna tame him down quite a bit. So, uh, yeah, let's go outside, look at the outside of the barn. I gotta come back in and do chores here. And <coughs> we do need to side the barn. Again, with a manure load this heavy over the years and years and years, there has been uh, a lot of decay of the metal as well down towards the bottom as you would you know you would expect that you know back in the day they would do these um this is a cattle farm so back in the days they would winter their cattle in here and then shovel it out in the morning so uh i should probably get a side view you could see how it's blowing out i don't know if you can see that well or not maybe if i go back here a little bit you can see it blowing out a little bit so that's all manure laying up against the wall and it's rotted along the bottom. This is actually the good side. But this side, uh, we're gonna pull this siding off and recycle this uh, metal. Because the metal's in pretty pretty decent shape, the top six feet or so. Uh, but the bottom, the bottom is a lot of this, where it's, where it's rotted out really bad, and manure being on it for so long. We gotta work on a little drainage issue, so that's gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to get that done. Uh, this is one of my foo bars. I, there was a drainage ditch in here, and they had it filled up with telephone poles. And I took the poles out and cleaned it up. And I wanted to be able to mow on there, so we filled that back, filled it. Well, now I have water standing all over the back, and I need to get that done. So that's going to get dug out before the winter. Uh, this is Minnesota, and we do have a lot of uh, we do have a lot of. Uh, lakes here so uh, we might as well just add a couple extra ones so here's our here's our breakfast crew we call it they been laying eggs for us we're only getting eggs out of um out of the uh, spotted sussex right now well summer should start here pretty soon here's one of our jerk i wish i can catch them and clip their wings so they can't fly back in but it seems as though we got to get we got to get the, the guineas out Hey, T, T, what, what's the name of your geese? What's the names of your geese? That one is, that one's, that one's, wait, wait, yeah, that one's Lady, and that one's Matt. And what's the name of your rooster here? And that one's Kevin. Yeah, watch the fence, because it'll get, it gets that hot. Kevin. And that's about all that we have. See how the guineas are just thugs of the barnyard. They're horrible. So, uh, I got to get the chores done. Just thought I'd catch up real quick. What do you think about the barn? Uh, where should we start? What, what's your input? Give me a little input on the barn. We'll talk to you later. Until next time, keep us in your prayers. God bless you. And Bye.